Hey guys, it's your boy Running in Gaming, and welcome back to Mafia 2. Last we left off, we did some heists, and we made off, made enough money to pay back the debt that our dad accrued, and now we're doing another job. So let's, I'm assuming we're doing another job, and let's get into it. Oh god, who the fuck is he? Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're oh, under arrest fuck. for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with oh, us. Oh, come on. The chapter just started. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. I fucking knew the guy it. guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. They wow. had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Oh, come on. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. Oh, come on. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. 10 years? What in the fuck? Oh, come on. The federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. All right. I've seen too many of these prison-type things. Oh, my, oh, I'm first person, what the fuck? This is definitely not allowed. Jesus. I don't think that was necessary. Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen That's up, all I left them. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. 
Now get in line and follow me. All right, let's get this shit done. Welcome Aww. to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, no, my too. hair. I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. Nah, fuck you. I stand. All right, never mind. That might have been a bad idea. I'm kind of getting a uh, Shawshank Redemption vibes off of this. If you ain't gonna do what you told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Oh, that rhymed. Follow me. Oh boy. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Yep, yeah, we could have stayed in Europe. After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Contact Leo Galante. Uh, I'm looking for Leo Galante. <laughs> Get out of here before you make me mad. Okay. Uh, either you guys know him? Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Sorry. Be nice to Cracker's Day was yesterday. I'm looking for Leo Galante. He's in the hall again? Hey. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Went to my way. Hey, buddy. Beat it. And then tried to fight the guards. Uh, the guys got friendly. balls, all right. And a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. What the fuck? Bro, I just want to ask you a question. Sorry. Ming cannot uh, train a soul brother friendly. in ways of kung fu. Why not? But what? All right. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, they look, seem, they look calm enough. I know. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry oh, store. Oh, shit. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god. <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back. Oh, shit. This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Oh, Stop this fucking brain! Come on! Yeah. Fuck you! Get up! This is oh shit! All right, he got my number. Oh shit! Oh come on, that's not fair. He started it. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. Jesus. 
So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Come on. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. All right. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. And a boy, Pepe. Oh, shit. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Footwork's good. Ooh. Remember your footwork. Whoa, would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. All right, let's go. <clears throat> nice one. Nice kiss, nice. Shit, Give me two more of them. All right, one more, Vito. Oh, oh. shit, all right. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. All right, we're learning. We're getting better. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Oh shit. Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Oh shit. I just got this man in trouble. Alright, let's talk to a few of them. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Come Sal. Give me another hey, 20. nice work in the ring. I gotta talk nice to him. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Yeah, that's it. Alright. What else we got here? Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neill. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's it going? I'm Vito. Chris, how can I help you? All right, uh, I think if... You know, let me actually talk to Leo himself. Okay, I can't talk to any of them. How's old man Galante you know so much about boxing? You never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. No oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he organized... What you wear, you walk right low. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante, 
crooked white oh, devil. Oh boy. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, listen. These chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do, then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now, get out there. Show him what you made of. All right, let's fucking do this shit. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I shouldn't be laughing at that, but that was kind of funny. I mean, no, it's not funny. It's 2021. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, fuck. Get. Good night. I'm just too good. One week later. Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Oh shit. I did not know that. My fault. <laughs> late for work. All right. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that works. Some more. Uh, sorta. You'll see. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Quiet dog. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Morning, Sorry, that's my dog. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. All right. Enter the laundry. Oh, excuse me. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Oh, come on. No. It actually glitched. That's ridiculous. Alright. Um, I did not want to have to end this episode early. But, I think I might have to. So. Yeah. Alright, sorry about this. But, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and as always, peace out.